Howdy. I was about to show this already a long time ago, but now I just think I have to do it. Obviously, there is some weather thing going on in Europe. We have this kind of a boundary and this empty space in between. And these are, in a way, not really making any progress. And there seems to be something. Obviously, because this has been there for 12 hours and this is a reoccurring pattern. This is by far not the first time I see this. And there are no actual mountain ranges in that area that could explain of why the weather, the clouds and stuff behaves like that. And now it doesn't even seem to load properly. I just wanted to show you that from a bit closer up. So now it started to load and obviously you can see there's something. Something seems to keep these things apart. And here over Turkey I think. No, it's over this. This is the Black Sea. Yeah, it might be the Black Sea. Red Sea. Anyway, one of the seas there. There is something also going on. And uh, let me show you. Let's zoom still a bit out of that in order for you to see approximately the position of our gap in the weather, so to say. So that's the Ley Lines Net map. I will put a link below to that. You, <laughs> you can figure out by yourself how to use that, because it took me a while as well. Because there is something very amazing about this map. Obviously, we can watch a basic map. And you really can zoom into wherever you want to. And after it has loaded, you get very good satellite imagery. It's a little bit sketchy to navigate. And maybe you have already noticed there's some color on the right side. That is a magnetic anomaly map and you can make a slideshow like that. Let's zoom out still a bit further. So, I figured to pin this to the screen in order for you to see where... Oh, yeah, I didn't remember that I cannot draw on that. But anyway, that's armpit IT. So, we can see here on the left where we have approximately the gap, which is somewhere here. Okay. Let's say from Sweden down to Greece. Maybe we have to zoom in a little bit. Can, we, can I draw on this and then use that? No. So, it has to be somewhere here. And it's not exactly, but there, obviously, yeah, that's very hard to navigate. <laughs> obviously, something very different is going on here compared to here. Or let's say something very different has been going on in the past otherwise we wouldn't find this kind of pattern and that's the reason for why this line from approximately here there is this kind of a boundary and this pattern is recurrent that's by far not the first time I say it again, I have seen this happening. And this might be the reason. 
Like I said, that there is not actually really a mountain range that could influence the weather. To this degree, of course, we have some mountain here. But that's down here. It's on the lower side. There's nothing up here. In Poland, there's not really mountains. But yet, there is a mountain down below. Maybe this region reacts differently than this region because of its shape. Yes. Yeah, that's actually something interesting I just noticed. <laughs> A square or something. Anyway. I just wanted to show you this map. If you are bored once, you can check it out. There's a lot of more, a lot more of these kind of maps where you can make overlays. Actually, when we are already here, let's put this away. I think this one storm, I have been talking earlier, happened somewhere here. And of course, we have the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Maybe somewhere here, Saragossa Sea, maybe. Yeah, there's not too much of anything very special there. Yeah, because the seafloor is rather young. Because it's expanding all the time. Let's just check it out. Do we have anything in Greenland? <laughs> yes. Let's turn it sideways. Fits better to the screen. Yeah, I think that might be a region of interest. Because obviously we have very strong differences between the polarities. And let's have just a final quick look at Iceland. Yeah, there is a lot of activity there. Yeah, but I leave it up to you if you want to play around with this map. I think it's very interesting. You can check the whole globe. Look at places. And look at the patterns. Ah, oh, Thunder Bay. Check it out. Yeah. Iowa, Kansas City, Missouri. Memphis, Tennessee, can, let's check this region out quickly. Where we had the floods. Yeah. I think these patterns here, or these shapes, they are very interesting. This might be a huge Source of water somewhere down beneath in North Carolina. <laughs> Is there any water? Goldsboro. Yes, here. Clinton. In Clinton Ferran. Mm. Are they drilling for oil? Maybe solar panels, I don't know.
No, there might be water coming up. But anyway, I think I'll leave it here. You can check this out. Think your own thoughts about the stuff I show you. I'm not trying to make you believe me. <laughs> it's up to you. I just want to show you stuff that I think are probably relevant. Yes, interesting. I'm never getting tired of watching maps. Yeah, there's a whole different world beneath our feet. Thank you. Bye.